Greetings, Faith Lutheran Church congregation. This is your council president, Jeff Schaefer, taking a moment here to sit down with you and talk you through our strategic visioning process that we went through over the last calendar year. I hope that you find this information valuable. I also remind you that this information will be posted in paper form, very large paper form, in the Family Center within the next few days. So let's start just by talking about the process that we went through. First thing I did is I looked up, or we did, excuse me, is the, the definition of vision is the ability to think about and plan for the future with imagination and wisdom. So I'd like you to think about when we mention vision, this being a vision for our church, not necessarily a vision statement, which you might have come up with at your places of employment and stuff like that. This is our vision as a church moving forward. So in a nutshell, what we came up with uh, for the Faith Lutheran mission statement and vision goal would be serving neighbors and sharing God's love by challenging hunger in our community. So some steps we have, we've taken so far, we had a full day retreat on the 29th of April, 2023, led by Lynette Marlene. Uh, we focused on the initial steps of de developing a vision and worked through a spot matrix, cover story exercise, and context map. And then we had a half-day retreat on 4 2024 We reviewed learning and discussions over the past year and worked on developing four steps to take to realize our vision. So our full-day retreat was on 4 23 And one of the things we worked on here was talking about um, our strengths, opportunities, problems, and threats that we face as a church. Uh, so you can take the time to read through what we came up with, with our different strengths and opportunities and threats and problems. I don't feel the need to read them all to you, but you could pause the video if you'd like and go through them. These were generated by the full council in a brainstorming and group discussion. Understanding the approach that we took, we're going to envision the future by understanding the landscape, which that first slide sort of initially talked about. We're going to align to our future needs and challenges. We're going to take action and then review the process again and again. The next exercise we did is Lynette took us through a cover story vision where we separated into groups and each took an opportunity to create a cover story for a magazine or an article that might be on the front page of the paper or, you know, the Lutheran publications or the seed or something like that. And so this was one of the cover story versions. Um, you, again, you can pause and read through it if you want, but notice we feed 5,000 people. Lots of references to great things that we do already with our garden and whatnot. Um, and so this was just sort of a creative brainstorming session. So this is w what one group came up with. And again, you can pause to read. Another group, again, instrumental in addressing hunger. And I should point out that these groups were separated out. We weren't all working together. So each of our groups um, had their own opportunity to discuss amongst themselves their cover story vision. And so these are authentic. They weren't uh, curated by the group at all. They were instead um, done in smaller groups, which is obviously what led us to our decision. Another course cover story, excuse me, is Faith Reaches Out. So this was more connecting to our community, ways that we can connect to our community. So some great ideas on here. Again, pause if you need to. And from there, we move to uh, what, what they call a context map. And so this just addresses some uh, social trends, community drivers, economic climate, generational trends, um, technology factors, uncertainties, and church seekers. What are people who don't have a church maybe seeking? So again, you can pause and read. I'll go over a couple things just to highlight um, under social trends. Just we understood that we're dealing with a changing 
social fabric in terms of there's quite a few people that have never gone to church and don't understand what it is. Also being driven by perhaps more evangelical approaches to religion that don't necessarily represent us as a church, an open community. Um, community drivers, we just talked about we live in a really great community. Wednesday nights are becoming an issue. Marion is growing, but many churches are shrinking. Our economic climate, um, we notice that obviously housing is getting more expensive. Um, we're limited in terms of our economic climate as a church by the size of our congregation, which is a wonderfully generous congregation. And then uh, generational trends. People are having smaller families. Younger generations tend to be more mission-driven, which I know as a teacher is true. Um, church is a family thing, so it's hard for individuals, which there are more individuals these days. Um, there's just lots of generational things that we wanted to keep in the back of our minds as we moved through this process. Technology factors. Um, I think we have a fantastic website. I think we all agreed that we could probably do a little more social network stuff, but that is something that we'll address in part of our communication strategy. Um, uncertainties. You can read through those. Um, Mostly an on-demand society kept coming up where people want stuff when they want it, not necessarily at a specific time. And then church seekers. You can read through that and pause it if need be. We left it at that and talked amongst council in our various council meetings over the course of the year. Paused a bit to wait for new members of council to join us. And then we resumed our half-day retreat on the 20th. During this retreat... We basically set up this, which is maybe the most important piece of paper. It talks about the things that drive our vision, being visible, being in service to others, nurturing our Christ-centered lives, our kids matter, challenging hunger, growing leaders, rights and rights, building friendships, and strategic outreach. The bold steps we came up with are um, resource needs. How do we address, do we need new employees, volunteers, committees, funding, strategic partnerships, meaning within our community, communication strategies, something like making a video for the congregation, what steps do we need to do internal and external to communicate better, in reach and management strategies, what can we do within our organization, and then finally, of course, goals and metrics, because if you're not going to set goals and measure whether you've reached those goals, uh, it doesn't do much to have gone through the work. Uh, and then these are just some sort of project boards for each game plan is what we want to call it. Um, so a bold step would also be a game plan, something we need to do. So you can pause and read through these. This is game plan number one, um, which is employees, volunteers, committees, funding. Determine staffing needs, create strategy for engaging volunteers, evaluate committee structure, provide the resources to advance our vision. Game plan two, partnerships, determine vision elements that require a partnership, identify potential partners, build strategic relationships, engage in volunteerism and projects. Big thing, develop partnerships needed to advance our mission. And I want to point out that these game plans or, or steps don't necessarily have to be in the order that they're listed. They're just steps we need to take and game plans we need to engage in. And they overlap and work within each other. Um, so it's not necessarily a step-by-step -step process. Game plan number three, communication strategy, internal and external. So what I'm doing right now would be an example of our communication strategy. We've really strived as we work to future-proof our church, which we've talked about a lot, um, to make sure we have an open communication with the congregation so no one feels like they're being left out or anything's being hidden from them. Um, everything we do, we do uh, in Christ's name, of course, and in service to Christ in our community and our church. And so it's really important that we have a solid communication strategy. Game plan four, in-reach engagement strategies. 
create personal connections needed to advance our vision. We have a lot of great members in our congregation who want to help and who want to provide service to the church. And we have a lot of younger members that want to provide service to the church and all sorts of people in between. And how do we connect people more so that we are more of a family approach to our church and more of a place where people want to go and engage with each other and be help become better leaders within the church and in the community. And then obviously uh, goals and metrics are a part of this. Success criteria, if you're not familiar with that term, is very common in the education world uh, and in the business education world. Um, but success criteria basically sets forth a set of criteria which will develop and it might say something like the student will be able to play 16th notes by the end of March sort of thing. I just obviously using a music example as I'm a band teacher. So those are, are, the, are the boards that we developed for our different game plans or steps to success. So our next steps as a congregation and council is to identify resources we need to move forward. Funding, volunteers, expertise, committees. Identify strategic partnerships. We are currently doing this. Communicate to the congregation, which is what we're doing with this video and the printed materials in the Family Center. Communicate to the surrounding community, which is a goal for the fall of 2024, and establish metrics to measure success. How can you help? Over the summer, please think about ways you can support faith in our vision of addressing hunger in the community. Feel free to reach out to anyone on council to share your thoughts. Don't set limits to your thinking. That will never work or that is too expensive. Those would be examples of limiting thoughts. Please uh, don't, don't allow yourself to think in that way. Any, anything could be possible. And if it's a good idea, I think we owe it to ourselves to try to make it possible. And then as a congregation, we need to be prepared to take action in August and September do you want to be on a committee? Do you have connections in that we can utilize for our strategic partnerships? Anything that you can provide that addresses of the, our mission of um, developing relationships within our community and serving our community and uh, addressing hunger within our community is valuable to us. So this is an invitation to brainstorm on your own, an invitation to communicate with any council member or church anybody in the church leadership, and of course with each other, and then an invitation to be ready to move forward in the fall, September-ish probably is when we will get ramping up on this uh, so that we can begin to do some really great things or continue to do some really great things, but even more great things moving forward um, in 2024, 2025. Again, Reach out to any of us uh, if you have any questions or concerns, um, email, phone, at church, whatever works best for you, uh, and we'd be happy to help. And I appreciate your time in watching this video, and please, again, let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.